Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into the forgotten rooms of the RMS Titanic. I thought it would be a fun thing to go back over some rooms that were not featured in the 1997 James Cameron hit film and take a look back because I'm sure a lot of people don't know much about these areas of the ship. What were they? Would there have been a way to incorporate them into the film? And what is their current status now within the Titanic wreck? The first one is the Squash Racket Court, which was located deep within the ship on G deck, measuring at 30 feet by 20 feet, much like the gymnasium. It had an instructor. The charge was $10 in 2020 money for a half hour of play and it was accompanied by a spectator's gallery on F deck, which overlooked the court. It could only be entered by a separate staircase starting on D deck. The current status of its condition right now is unknown. The squash court has yet to be explored. You can take a look at where it is located. It flooded very, very early, just in reference, right above the mail room. The cargo holds was one of the first areas to flood then the mail room and then the squash court right above that so nobody really knows what it looks like right now within the titanic wreck but i do think it would be cool to try and go explore it if they ever do you know an excursion that actually goes into the ship like they take one of those little floating drones into it and see i would imagine you know it's still holding up at this point as long as the floors haven't collapsed it should be at least a little bit recognizable you would think the next area is the aft grand staircase which is the just kind of a worse version of the grand staircase the one shown in the movie you can see it has a very small clock i've always thought the aft grand staircase looked weird because it's just the clock did not fit it just i don't know it just looks kind of funky there uh, but it is, you know, a virtual identical replica of the original Grand Staircase located on A deck, B deck, and C deck. Wasn't nearly as big as the original Grand Staircase. And it was damaged severely when the ship broke in half and ended up getting destroyed entirely when the stern imploded as it fell to the ocean floor. There's an image on the bottom of the ocean of the metal framework from the aft grand staircase dome. That's the aft grand staircase, not the original. I feel like when people see an image like that and they think grand staircase, they think of the one from the movie. But no, this is a different one. There were two different grand staircases on titanic i guess you would call this one just kind of the worst one but it was also only for first class passengers the aft grand staircase the olympic had this as well and any like real image you would see of this was the olympics same thing with the regular grand staircase i do not believe there is a surviving photo of titanic's actual grand staircase it's a complete carbon copy of olympic Back in 1912, there was no reason. Well, I mean, I guess there was a reason to, you know, because it is a, it, it's a very nice staircase. But if it's the exact same thing as the Olympics, and they already photographed the entire Olympics interior, they really only when they were when they were taking photos of Titanic, they really only got the newer areas of the ship. So any of the Grand Staircase photos you see, very likely they are all the Olympics, including the aft Grand Staircase, and it is imploded. It is not around anymore. The the original grand staircase people have speculated you know because of the wood it floated up to the surface like it did on the movie set uh, either way it's completely destroyed at this point over a hundred years later the next area is the maid and valet's saloon which was located on sea deck for the servants where they were served four daily meals of breakfast lunch tea and dinner on the Britannic, however, the saloon area was completely removed and replaced by first-class cabins. The room was moved to D-Deck, where the hospital used to be located, and there are some images of it. Its current status within the wreck, the forward end of the room was torn away from the ship with the forward tower section. The rest of the room was folded back into the stern. And some of these newer images you're looking at are from the Titanic Honor and Glory potential video game that may or may not be coming out. Not not a very great room. It was for the servants, you know, of the first class people. So they just got four meals there. The next area is the dog kennels, which were located on F deck, although there is some dispute on exactly where they were. The Titanic had 12 total dogs with three surviving. And there is the dog kennel room right there. 
The next room is the refrigerated storage rooms located on G deck deep within the stern of the ship. A large number of refrigerated holds utilized primarily to store perishable items. In these holds was a wide assortment of items including eggs, meats, ice, ice cream, wines, champagne, vegetables, fruit, and flowers along with other stuff. The refrigeration complex spanned across G deck and its current status within the wreck is complete implosion. It got destroyed, it was within the stern, so uh, it, I, I would say probably with good certainty this area never flooded. It just completely got imploded due to air pressure when the ship went down because there wasn't enough time for water to get to that area and as the pressure built up it just got destroyed upon implosion. The next area is the post office, which is located on G deck of the starboard side towards the bow of the ship. It was one of the first areas to flood. There are some famous depictions of the post office flooding. There was even a scene that was drawn out but never even filmed. It wasn't even a deleted scene, it was just drawn out of Thomas Andrews coming down and looking into the post office from the upper stairs and seeing all the floating mail and the flood. Uh, but that scene, of course, never happened. The post office was located right below the squash court, and early on during the sinking, it was reported that people were trying to grab the mail in order to save it because they didn't think at that point the ship was going to sink. It was very early on at that time in the sinking, and they wanted to save as much mail as possible, so they would take all of the mail and bring it up to an upper area, but obviously that ended up not mattering at all. The next area is the second class staircase. You could consider this basically the grand staircase for the second class passengers located along the boat deck, A deck, B deck, C deck, D deck, E deck, F deck, and G deck. Very similar to the grand staircase. It also included an elevator and there are a few photos of the second class staircase you can see during the wreck the starboard wall of the forward section entrance split and collapsed in during the sinking the port wall is generally intact the fore wall is smashed and the starboard wall is caved inward and split as of 2010 the second class entrance has folded onto itself resembling an origami hat and you can kind of see it depicted from the photo right there all folded onto itself the outside of it entering into it and you would go down the second class stairs right there in an ideal world but guys those are just some forgotten places on the titanic that were not depicted within the movie i'm sure they could have shown a number of these different areas if they really wanted to i mean basically any of the areas i guess you know, they, they there was an idea that they would do a scene with the mailroom flooding. That never happened. All these other ones, it just doesn't make sense to show much of the second class stuff with, you know, Jack as a third class passenger, Rose as a first class passenger, so you can kind of understand that. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that is always in the description.